closest to a St. Paul shooting victim, remembering him tonight as a great husband, father, and friend. Javier Yanez was shot and killed after rushing from his home to help those involved in a car crash. And the community support is now flowing in. Here's Fox 9's Paul Bloom. Some part of me and my adrenaline is still flowing from it. Dan and Thompson's world hasn't stopped spinning. He just fired. He fired, you know. I mean, maybe he was scared. I don't know why. Thompson figures he was just a foot or two away from his buddy, Javier San Miguel Yanez, when shots rang out Monday night. The pair with several others outside their homes to check on the motorists involved in a multi vehicle crash in their pain failing neighborhood. I heard the shot. We all ran. I turned around and there was Javier and I, I ran back and, you know, it was too late at that point. The panic captured in these 911 transcripts, including Javier's wife, who called to report the shooting on Edgerton Street. Quote, my husband was shot. Please get over here. Please. My husband was shot. Please, please, please. Meanwhile, the alleged killer, Lionel Eaton, made his first court appearance Wednesday morning on second and third degree murder charges. According to court records, Eaton's mom suggested to authorities that her son was suffering from a mental health crisis when he holed up in the fetal position in the back of his Ford Escape and opened fire on the crowd of Good Samaritans. His family left court without comment. I don't believe it. I believe he was just a, a coward. Um, you know, he, he, when he got out of the vehicle, he knew what was going on with the police. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's an excuse. Thompson and so many others heartbroken over the senseless loss, now focused on helping Javier's family. A GoFundMe page for his loved ones quickly exceeded its $50,000 goal in just 24 hours. He was very proud of one of his accomplishments, right? To live the dream, the American dream, helping the community. Javier's wife and family issuing a statement tonight saying, Helping others came naturally, so it comes as no surprise to those who knew him that Javier died like he lived, selflessly serving others.